Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm Le Pons, and this is Best Kept Secrets, the podcast where anonymous callers ring in to share their secrets that they can't tell anybody else. We've had all kinds of secrets on the show so far, everything from faking their college graduation to selling their armpit hair. But probably the most common submission we received is about, obviously, dun, 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 cheating. I've talked before about my experiences, both with cheating and with being cheated on. So I always find these secrets super relatable to me. The following content contains adult subject matter, including sensitive material, and is intended for adult consumption only. It may not be suitable for all audiences. Therefore, discretion is advised. Lele Pons is not a trained expert, but is using her personal experiences and platform to create a space for sensitive discussions. Today, we picked out two submissions which show just how complicated and difficult an issue like this can be. Later on, we're going to be talking to Agatha, who is still really struggling to come to terms with the fact that she's having an affair with her best friend's husband. I know. Before that, let's talk to Esmeralda, whose fiancé and two children don't know that he is not their biological father. She's got a lot to say to us, so let's go straight into the call. Hi, Esmeralda. Hi. How are you? You're excited. I am awesome. How about yourself? I'm really good. I'm I'm really curious. What is your secret? So my fiance thinks he's the father of our two children and he is not. He thanks your fiance for how long have you first of all let's start how long have you known him? How long have you guys been together? I've known him eight years. We've been together seven years. And how old are your kids? They are five and three. Oh, okay, okay. And tell me how this happened. Tell me everything. So, when I started cheating in the very beginning, that's the thing. I never was faithful from the very beginning. I've always been <laughs> dating this other guy. I just, I got with my husband because my husband's the better provider. So, this man, this man was just a friend? Who was this man? I've known him for like almost five years. He's just, a, he's awesome. Oh, he's been a really good friend of mine. Yeah, I can tell. Really, really good friend. <laughs> An awesome friend. So, yeah, I've always been around. Now he wants to start seeing the kids. Oh, my and, God. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm already the, my dude that I'm with now is always being there. He's been there since day one. He's never stepped out of their lives. And the kids don't even know this other guy. So. But do the kids, the kids probably don't look like your fiance. Doesn't he notice that? Right. Yeah, that's another thing. My fiance's a friend actually said that a couple of uh, months ago, like four months ago, he said that, you know, like the kids don't look like him. And I just kind of like shied it off. So I just kind of went on that. I was like, no, it's just the Creole in me. He didn't even like, think to ask me for a DNA test. And that's the only thing I'm scared about right now. Oh, the DNA test. Asks, you know, if he asks me. I think you should be scared when the dad, the other dad, really wants to be a part of their kids' lives. I mean, what are you going to say? Well, that's that's the thing. I'm not allowing that, you know, because I know that, you know, the kids are already calling my husband dad. Yeah. So I'm not going to confuse the kids, but that's that's the only thing. I just have to figure that out. I have to figure out how to keep, keep, I have to keep the kids away from him because he's, he's the rightful father. So he's wanting, you know, he's actually been helping with the kids. Oh, it's just a big old mess. I yeah. got myself into a hot mess. It's and it's two of them. No, you know, and uh, but yes. but why did you start cheating on your on on your fiance? And, and was it a sex thing? The sex was like terrible, and like this other guy is like amazing. So oh my God. Oh my God. it's a woman thing. I feel like we should have always like. You know, I feel like we should always be happy in our relationship. And yeah. I, I, that's not a nice way to tell your man that. You know what I mean? Like, babe, you're just not hitting the spot. You know, like, yeah. you just want to say that, but you don't really want to say that to your man because your man will get that. Don't you think you should you should teach your husband or your fiance how to please you? Yeah, that's just not going to work because he's just not that. He's more of a hit it. And go to sleep. So, what do you like about him? What 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 makes you still be with him after all these years? And you cheated on him. What, what? He takes such good care of the kids, and he's such a good provider. And he's a really, really, really good guy. You know, it's really bad. And like I said, I want to hurt him. Did you tell your other guy, the, the 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 real father, that he can't be a part of the family? Yeah, I just told him he can't see the kids. <laughs> what did he say? He's like, why? He already knows though. 
you know, what's going on. He's trying to figure out why I haven't told him yet. Are you planning on it? Before it gets really messy. Not at all. Oh, my God. I'm not ever, ever going to hurt that man like that. I'm sorry. And I'm never going to hurt him like that. That would, oh, my God, break his heart. You know, like once or twice I almost did tell him, but I feel like that's just stupid because like if he doesn't know, why would I tell him? What about if the other man tells him? He wouldn't tell him. He wouldn't? Do you trust him like there's that? There's no way. No, there, there's no way he would even know. Um, it sounds like it's probably more than wanting good sex. I mean, the other man is the, the father of both babies? Yes, he is. How did you keep it a secret for so long? Uh, the other guy is like really awesome. Have you been sleeping with the, the other man your your whole marriage or were you were these like two times just one one offs and stuff? This is an odd that this is never ending. <laughs> just can't stay away from him. He makes it so work. So why don't you just marry the other guy? Because he's not a very good provider. He doesn't really have it's like it's like he kinda if I could take the penis off and put it on my husband, then that would be awesome. But I can't. So <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. So I, it's like because yeah, he's he's not such a good provider. Yeah, he like is not such a good provider. Like he lives with people. He doesn't have his own house. So it's like it's not as stable as with my guy now. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was just just trying to be safe and be okay. And then I feel like you know my husband wanted somebody good to treat him good. So. I feel like we both win in this situation. So I don't, I, I feel like I should be faithful, but then again, I feel like I shouldn't because it's like, I know he knows he sucks. You, can, you have to know you suck. You're a guy. I don't know. Why, why are you so sure that the other man won't just decide one day that he wants to meet the kids and tell your husband? Because he wants to keep sleeping with me. <laughs> uh, you must have, well, if he has a good penis, you must have a great vagina. If you can, wants to continue. Yes, ma'am. Because he's threatened that a couple times, and that's the word. It's just been like, okay, all right, so we ain't gonna do it no more. And then he'll be like, okay, you know what? You're right. I'm just gonna keep you going the way it is. Like I've, li- he's literally, and you're so right because that scared the crap out of me a couple of times. He's like, oh, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell, and I'm like, scared. no, you're not. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess what? We ain't gonna be doing no more because guess what? I'm gonna, end up, I'm gonna not gonna trust you no more. You know, if you're gonna be my friend, you're gonna be my friend, and you're not gonna tell my business. You feel me? Yeah. So if I should guess up, you're gonna be my friend. So he's like, oh, and then he'll switch up. So he threatens little crap like that when he gets mad. For your kid's sake and your husband's sake, I hope this secret doesn't come out because it will cause so much hurt. You know? Right. That would kill him. I I would never hurt him like that. I just don't feel like you should hurt people like that. I don't want to hurt him. Yeah. Do you want to stop? No. I want, I, you know, I want, I want it all to be okay. That would be nice, right? I want it all that to be would okay. Be amazing. I want him, <laughs> I want him to accept him, <laughs> and we all be one big happy family kind of situation. And you know, he just be okay with the fact that I'm not leaving him. Like he should be fine with the fact that I'm not leaving. Like most relationships are over when one person's bad and dead, but I stay. So I think I should get credit. What if what if you find out that he's sleeping with with another woman? So see, that's where I'm at. I don't even care. Like I have literally been thinking about that, and I've literally seen things in his phone. So I know he's not all he cracks up to be. You know what I mean? But I don't care. Who? How am I gonna? I'm freaking hypocrite if I'm gonna say something to him. All right. Well, it looks like we we uh we lost the call, but I think we heard enough. What the fuck is this call like she she sounded like super funny obviously like super funny but she was saying the, the craziest things i'm sorry i i think she's hilarious but my god that was a lot that was a lot that was a little bit too much like i don't i don't even know how to like because i'm also the host of the show and i want to make everybody feel comfortable i can't say what i really feel sometimes like i mean it's the truth like no, it's not okay. Like, you know, but she knows that. But the fact that everything's okay with her is it makes me like I'm I'm more nervous. I wouldn't be able to sleep. And you know, everybody's different. And she can be able to sleep and she's happy with it. Nothing's going on. She does not want to stop. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she does it and and that's so scary to me. Wow, this was a intense call. I don't know. There's a lot of mixed feelings that I have right now there's so many times that she said stuff that didn't make sense for me and I didn't want to say anything but let me tell you I am very shocked right now 
Well, she seems very chill about this.、Uh, that's one of the weirdest cheating stories I've ever heard, especially how it came out like that from like, how she was acting. But if you have a cheating story and you would like to tell us, make sure to go to shots.com slash secrets. We're going to return right after this quick break. And we're back. Let's jump right into our second caller with Agatha. Hi, Agatha. Hi. How、Thanks、are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for good, coming. Good, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm quite cold. You're cold? Why are you cold? It's cold here where I'm at. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's、yeah. kind of hot. When I, where, I, where I live, it's always hot. So <laughs> I want to know what is your secret? What do you want to tell us today? So, my secret is that I have been fooling around with my best friend's husband. Well, that's a lot to talk about here, but there's no judging. I want to just get to know why, why you do that. Like, how long you've been best friends for?、Um, are you really in love with this man? I think I'm getting there. I think there's, there's some kind of、um, love developing. Is it the same the other way around for the other guy? I think so. And how long have you been best friends with, the, with your friend? About 12 years. And how long has she been married to this guy? Like 15 years or so. And do you have a husband? I have one, yeah. How long have you been with your husband? Eight years. Listen, as long as like, it's, it's not just for fun because you want it to be risky and stuff like that and, and you like the thrill of it, as long as it's not that and it's more like you actually love him and like you sadly, you know, you picked the wrong person or he picked the wrong girl and like you guys met after, too late, you know, that type of stuff. And you guys are actually like planning to be together. I mean, that's one thing. When did you start feeling attracted to him? Well, I, I always found him attractive.、Oh, okay. Like, yeah. So, like, he's always been attractive. And, and、um, like, every time I w- would go to her house, my best friend's house, or we, you know, we would hang out, all of us, like, I, I, there was like tension. Some, yeah, between me and him. And I, I, I always saw the way he looked at me and stuff. And, You know, I, I felt intimidated and stuff, you know, because I, I, I was attracted to him as well. Do you have issues in your marriage? Yeah, on and off. Yeah, we have. And they don't suspect anything, both of them, your husband and your best friend? Well, the thing is, I'm trying so hard to keep it a secret that I act weird around my friend's husband. Like, I go out of my way to avoid him. Avoid him. You、yeah. know, when, yeah, like, If we're going out somewhere or whatever, like I always try to sit like the most farthest away from him, you of know? Of course, like, of course, yeah. So, stuff like that, that, that maybe they might, might get people thinking, you know, like, why am I doing yeah. that? Is there、yeah. something I'm hiding? Yeah, I understand. How did the affair start? I was waiting for my friend at her house. We were supposed to go somewhere and she was running late from work or something. And, um,、uh, When I got there, he was the only one home and he、um, let me in. and I was just, you know, waiting for her. And then he kind of just just told me he finds me incredibly hot. And I told him, So do I. And started making out. <laughs> and one thing led to another. Yeah, yeah. one thing led to another. And、um, how long ago、yeah. was that? Like, how long has the affair been going on? Five years now. Five years, and, and you, you don't plan on telling your best friend or your husband ever? I don't know because I'm stuck. Because if I tell her, then I won't have a best friend anymore. Or a husband. Right. So I don't know what, what's more important to me. I have to decide what's more important to me. Yeah, you do have to decide that. Do you think there's something missing from your marriage that led you to start having an affair? Yeah, there is definitely something missing. Otherwise, I. You know, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't have allowed it. There's plenty of attractive guys out there, you know, but if I was truly happy at home, you know, it wouldn't matter. It's just bad luck. You didn't meet, maybe this guy's the love of your life and you didn't meet him at the right time. He was already taken and you were taken. It's highly possible that maybe I was meant to be with my best friend's husband, you know, maybe we were meant for each other or something. I don't know. What I would do is that I would, both of you guys should divorce. And then years later, 
go to come together or something like that. Yeah, that's very likely. You know, because no. obviously yeah. both of you might not be happy. I don't think you are happy. Absolutely, yeah. Their marriage was rocky too, and you know my marriage was rocky, and like me and him were just messing around, you know. Yeah. During this time, you know. How can you hang out with your best friend without you know blurring it out or like? Have you told anybody? Do you have another best friend that you talk to? No. I've never told anyone, ever. Do you feel like being with him is worth losing your, your husband and best friend for? Is that like how big your love is? You know, honestly, I might end up getting divorced, mm-hmm. you know, even if this guy wasn't in the picture. That's good. You know, that's good because obviously it's not working. Some, something is not working. It's okay. People get divorced. I know. Especially unfortunately. Now. Yeah. But her, like, you know, she doesn't deserve this. And she was a good friend, you know, and that's the part that hurts me. Yeah. Because my husband, like, well, you know, we, we might get divorced someday, you know. I can see that happening. But my best friend, you know, like, she didn't deserve this from me. You know, I should have been a better friend. You know what? It, unless we're in the same situation as you, only you know, like, how how you feel. But uh, for many people, it'd be like, oh, you're wrong. But I I think that sometimes, you know, it's hard when it comes to love. I really do think so. When when you like the person you like, it's the worst. And I, I know you probably wish you didn't like him. Yeah. There's so many times I've wished I liked somebody else that it, or like I didn't like the person that I like. There's women that love criminals <laughs> and they're attracted to bad boys or there's women that have fallen in love with people that abuse them. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've heard that a lot. So it's, it's very hard. Um, Unless we're in your shoes, we will not understand. But I, I can, I can just picture it from my experience. When it's, it comes it's to love, it's really yeah. hard to choose. It's not that you choose the person. It's just like I feel like love. It's just it chooses you. You know. Trust me. Sometimes I'm just like, no, no, I can't believe I'm liking this. No, I can't like this person. My God, you know, he's not my even not right. even my type. <laughs> right? Or is it just lost? You know, is it yeah. really love? Is it just lost? Yeah. You know, it's insane. But I just want to say thank you so much for talking to us today. I hope we made you feel better. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's, it's, it's very complicated for sure. Hopefully, you do get a divorce and you have one less person to lie to eventually you know yeah and then yeah, exactly. eventually you don't have to lie about anything anymore yeah thank you for having me bye bye she is so sad i can tell from her voice she is so sad she's so lost pobrecita i mean not many people would be like how dare she did her best friend or whatever but i'm telling you right now it shit does happen like, like it does happen and you know and and it's i would be okay for her best friend to literally beat her up and everything but at the end of the day she can't change her heart her mind the feeling you can't change that it's it's just like and it's inevitable you know it's it's something i i we all wish we can change our feelings towards people it would make our lives so much easier but it's hard and i hope that i hope that he has the same strong feelings for her as she does for him because that would be a huge mistake and that's the only reason why I would be like, okay, if you really, really love this person, you think he's the one, go for it. I always say that. But it's hard. It's hard because you're 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 messing around with your best friend. She doesn't deserve it, but it's not that you were like one day I want to do this intentionally to my best friend. Uh wish her good luck. I think you can clearly notice that both our colors have cheating in common, but they couldn't be more different in their outlooks with this. I mean, I think you can hear on our call just how sad and broken Agatha is about this whole situation that she found herself in, which is completely different with Esmeralda. I mean, we only heard Agatha's side of the story, so I'm not sure whether her friend's husband is as unhappy in his marriage as she is in hers. It sounds like Agatha just married the wrong man and... I don't even think Agatha knows whether her feelings for her best friend's husband is true love or not, or if he's just a stand-in for the lack of love in her marriage. But either way, it feels really real to her, and I'm genuinely scared for her because he may not feel the same way for her, and this is going to affect her marriage and her best friend, which is the most important, the best friend part. I think the best thing to do here is probably end the affair and then figure out a way of getting a divorce since she's really not happy in her marriage. 
And if her best friend's husband feels the same way, then he should deal with the situation. And maybe if it's meant to be, they can come together in the future and he should also get a divorce. Either way, I think she needs to come to terms with the fact that she's probably going to lose her best friend. That's going to happen if she finds out. I can't believe they haven't gotten caught after five years. That's insane. They're they're pretty good at this. I I, I don't know how. I mean, it's easy to say that you should never cheat with your best friend's partner. I know I would never do that. Something like I just wouldn't do that. But uh, at the end of the day, the heart wants what the heart wants. And some things overpower your brain. And that's what happened in this situation. I'm pretty sure her intentions were not to do that to her best friend. However, while Agatha is full of guilt over here... um, Esmeralda doesn't seem bothered by her secret at all, which is crazy because I was bothered. Like, I felt for the kids and the husband. It's crazy. The thing is, she has much more at risk because her children are involved, which is the crazy part for me. Listen, we all know sex is really important in relationships and so is providing for your family. But I think Esmeralda needs to get herself a man who can do both. She says her fiancé is a great person and a wonderful father to her children, but she clearly has a strong connection with the other men. And I think the thing that shocked me the most about the call was that she wasn't worried at all about the other man spilling the secret to her fiancé. I mean, especially because he's already threatened to do so. It really seems a little bit of a ticking bomb to me. Uh, Something's going to happen and I'm going to get another call from her. I'm not the authority of what's right and wrong. We all have, you know, to figure out our limits, but... I can't believe Esmeralda doesn't think that what she's doing is kind of not okay. It's it's wrong because she thinks that what her fiance doesn't know can hurt him. But I think she should take a lesson from Agatha's situation and reconsider getting married to her fiance. It doesn't sound like the other guy is her perfect match either. But getting married is only going to add another level to this already weird house of cards. Listening to our callers this week got me thinking about the phrase what you don't know can't hurt you i'm not sure if i believe in that anymore so i'm gonna throw it out to you guys with the question of the week do you agree that what you don't know can't hurt you is ignorance truly bliss let me know on my instagram at lelepons that's our show for today thank you guys so much for listening have a great week and let's make a date for next wednesday for some more best kept secrets if you or someone you know are struggling emotionally text Start to 741-741 for a confidential chat anytime. Thanks for listening to Best Kept Secrets with me, Lele Pons, only on Spotify in partnerships with Shot Studios. The Shot Studios original team includes creators John Shahidi and Sam Shahidi, my lovely producer Belinda Mercer, and audio editor Stephen Colon. From Spotify Studios, executive producers Javier Pinol, Liz Gailey, Gina Delvac, and Danny Trebodge. And a special thanks to Dan Behar, Jessica Molina, Francisco Quijada, and Julio Pabon. I'm Lele. Follow me on Instagram at Lele Pons and check out my exclusive merch at lilshop.com. That is lilshop, L-I-L, shop.com. Talk to you next week. <laughs>